Isaiah saw the glory of the Son of God appearing to him enthroned within the temple. That's what the evangelist John teaches us. John chapter 12, John says that Isaiah saw his glory. Whose glory? The glory of Christ. Isaiah saw the glory of Christ. When? In this temple theophany that he had in Isaiah 6, one of the chapters that we read today if you're doing Bible in one year with me. What does Isaiah see? He sees the Lord that John teaches us is the Son of God. The Lord, the Son of God, is enthroned within the temple. And the train of his robe, the hem of his robe, fills the temple. And the seraphim are flying around and they're singing holy, holy, holy to the Son of God. Now, here's the interesting thing about the Hebrew. That word that translated the hem or the edge of his robes is also used in, in reference to the robe of the high priest multiple times in the book of Exodus. So here's the Son of God, certainly enthroned as a king, but also wearing a robe that's akin to the vestments of the high priest, which is, of course, perfectly fitting for who Jesus is. In fact, if you turn to Revelation chapter 1, when Christ appears there, he's described as wearing vestments like that of a priest. He comes as our king. He comes as our priest. The holy, holy, holy God who comes down from heaven becomes one of us in his incarnation to be our king, to be our priest, to, to be that holy one who gives his own life for us unholy sinners to make us one with himself.